Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here. Welcome to day three of Scrap Squad's 12 Days of Christmas Scrap Lifts. And today's scrap lift is a really, really cute one that has um, paper strips forming a tree and a small photo of some cute kids and I guess they've got the names of the kids kind of going down through the, the tree, some uh, critters on the tree. So I'm kind of taking inspiration from the critters on the tree. I like this little um, uh, piece of a tag up here in the corner. So I've got one of those. Um, I'm going to do critters. Uh, first of all, I've, I've used multicolored strips of papers from my Scrap Backwards kit. And I have this um, chipboard sticker sheet from Into the Wild by Simple Stories. And there are some critters there. And I have these critters from Bramble Fox that are from their um, Into the Wild uh, collection from a couple months ago. And then I have this random tray of, or tray of random embellishments that are from my Scrap Backwards kit, including arrows, palm trees. I've got hedgehogs, including I have a small hedgehog here, so I'm actually going to pull that out. And I've got flowers and other types of embellishments that I might, th these are kind of icons, uh, like this little rainbow might be cute, and the uh, balloons might be cute. Um, why not a cup of apple cider, hot apple cider? That looks like a, a nice warm um, element. I have this little heart-shaped button and a couple of other buttons, I think. I have some Easter eggs, but I don't think I'll use those. I've got some uh, miscellaneous small die-cut leaves down in the bottom of this, and I think I'm going to try to use all of them. I'm just going to let them be on there kind of like sequins. And what are these? These are word sentiments. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna, the photo is one. Katie is in Kentucky visiting her mom and her mom found uh, some photos. I'm gonna scrap this one today and I have two more that I'll scrap later. And this has this, the, I thought this little tag right here that says happy at home, she's just so cute. This was uh, right around the time Barrett was born, so she was two, and it was 2004, and she was just the cutest little thing, and here she had been uh, trying on um, some, that somebody had put a little bit of makeup on her and she was squinching her eyes and, and to show off her little pink cheeks and her pink lips. So I've already put this tab up at the top and put some foam on the back, but I think this would be cute and I'm going to put it on some foam just so that I can put it on there. I've got this cute little tag that says hooray, but I'm going to steal the orange off of it. And maybe use the hooray separately, but I may use the orange with the flowers as a... Um, an ornament on the tree. I'm going to put that in there in case I want to use it, but let me go back to my task at hand, which was putting some foam on this banner here. Um, I'll 
do this. And what I have done is I use random strips of paper from my Scrap Backwards kit, uh, cut them to size, kind of measured that a bit. I don't think I'm going to need any of the rest of this in here. So I'll just put it aside, but it'll be handy in case I change my mind. I may... The reason I would change my mind is I may choose to really densely decorate this tree. And this is like most of my layouts in this um, 12 Days of Christmas Scrap Lifts, most of my layouts are not going to be Christmas. This one's going to have a tree that could be called a Christmas tree or mistaken for a Christmas tree. But the theme certainly isn't Christmas. The photo isn't Christmas. Um, so we're just let's just kind of have some fun building it. I'm going to take my longest strip, which is this one, and kind of put it here. Let me dry fit the rest of these because I may have lost the uh, identity or lost the order of them. Let's see if that works. I'm, this is my trunk. So I'll do this and this and this and this. And then I've got this star, which was in the random ephemera that I had in my kit. And I thought I would overlay it with another star. So that's kind of how things are going to go. Let me go ahead and get these. I have distressed all of these things. And put foam behind them. And then I've got them kind of where the ends can curl and so forth. So I'm going to further distress and bend and so on. This one is, I did, the paper wasn't long enough, so I doubled it and overlapped it. And my photo is going to go over this part that's overlapped, but this is not wanting to stay down. So I'm going to squeeze some glue underneath and see if I can get it to behave. Seems to be working. So I'll say that's good. Now I want to twist and bend this one as well. Then we have this gold sunburst. And some orange stars. I'm kind of laying them pretty par much parallel. If I go off, it's gonna be just a little bit, and I'm trying kind of not to make it look too uh, structured, or I, I would like a little bit of randomness in it. And I love the, um, the combination of, of colors there. And I just kind of grabbed the scraps that I've accumulated in the Scrap Backwards kit. I don't, I used to keep a very extensive supply of scraps and I don't anymore. I was talked out of that by Sandy Reverse She made me see the light and I have not looked back and I have not regretted it, but while I'm working on a kit, I will keep the scraps just 
um, for the length of time that I use the kit. And then I get, I toss them. Okay, so the tree is built. The little um, tag, I've got, I've cut this piece off of a longer tag. I'm gonna kinda do it right there. And I have a floral that I'm gonna put over here with that. And then I have a tiny ladybug that I'm going to add over there because this is Katie Bug after all. <laughs> I'll have the ladybug there. And I'm thinking I could use a bit of color another color over there. So I'm gonna add in this little um, green button, kind of just to, just for the color. And I'm gonna sneak it in right there. And I may dress that up a little bit more later, but I kind of like it as it is right now. Okay, now I'm going to put the photo in, on, and then we'll see. And the placement of my photo is going to be a little bit further down than on the original. And I'm doing it that way so that I can cover this seam where those two papers went together to make that one longer look. And I'm going to scooch it in under there. And that allows me to then come back in and add this little ladybug flare. I'm gonna do some other flare, but I'm gonna select those by color and we'll do those kind of later on. So I'm gonna add the critters first. Um, I thought that the uh, and I've taken the backing off of all of these in because I, I wasn't sure which ones I wanted to use. I thought that the little um, zebra can go here. I'm going to put a, a foam dot. There, these are, like I said, these are all Bramble Fox from their, um, I think it's called Into the Wild. I thought the giraffe would be cute here with his little head sticking up into the tree. I didn't think about the fact that this color is so similar to his color, but I guess that's okay. He contrasts nicely with the green, so he'll show up pretty well. Now here's a lion that's facing this way. And the elephant is also facing that way. The, let's see, is that something I'm supposed to punch out? No, that's okay. The sloth can be hanging from could be hanging from the star, right? Or from the yellow branch. And then there is this chameleon 
that would be adorable right there. Is that a good distribution or should I bring the lion down here? We have the, these two colors that are very similar. I'm gonna go, but then we have these colors that are similar. I'm gonna go with the, um, with the original. I've also got uh, other critters in the, let me go up with the elephant. Actually, I want the paper to show on the other side of the elephant. So we've got, I'm, I may keep this lion and instead use either this monkey or the koala bears. Let's see. Where does that open? I'm kind of partial to the monkey. Well, come on. I'm just going to. <laughs> this shouldn't be that difficult to open. I just can't get a grip on the part to, to uh, pull it. And I don't want to lose this little camera. But now how do I get to it? I'm just going to cut it out. <laughs> and I'll throw this away. For some reason, that particular um, bag or, or packaging, piece of packaging, is very, um, has a lot of static electricity. So here's the monkey. We'll have to see how he might look. Okay, so it's going to be, it's going to be like that, is it? Um, it could be here. I haven't put that one on yet, so I could push it up. I could put him even down here. And then if I had a smaller animal, but why instead of an animal, maybe let's do this chipboard floral right there. I kind of like that. Okay, so I'm going to do the chipboard floral on a piece of foam so it kind of stands up. Maybe have the greenery going out this way, but the flower looks better this way. Okay, I'll do that there, and now I'll do the monkey. Here. That's on, that's on, this is not on. I'm going to glue it down. And I'm going to glue this guy down. And it's got, there's a branch there that it's holding on to, so I can have him kind of in the middle like he is there. Okay, and I may go th use these tropical leaves to add a little of that kind of look there. Um, let's see, if I were to put it kind of right there, that would look like it grew there, right? <laughs> Just say yes. <laughs> Work with me here. Um, John used to say that all the time. If, if he'd say something and I'd look at him funny, he'd say, okay, work with me here. <laughs> okay, um, I wanna use this, but I don't necessarily need to use it too close to that. 
Um, I'd like to use it up here, but we've got that. So maybe down here might be best, like coming out from under the flare. Okay, it's, it's, it's building up nicely and I, I love it. You're probably cringing and um, saying, oh my gosh, when is she gonna stop? Okay, here is a cute little uh, rainbow. And do we need a rainbow here? Or down here? Maybe right there. And I'm gonna put... This idea of, of a, making a tree with strips, uh, I've always kind of viewed that as a Christmas thing. But I, I'm, I kind of, I wanted to do the tree because I love the, the original and I love that, that idea, that lift. But um, I kind of wanted to prove that I can make it not a Christmas tree. Uh, okay, so I've got these balloons. Where would these balloons want to be flying around? Is, does that mess with the tree's shape too much? I think it works. I can balance it with something else. Um... And I, as, as you know, my, my um, philosophy is that you can get away with a lot of things like this on a page about young kids because they would love all of this stuff. So I think this Katie would have loved this little hedgehog and real Katie will probably love it too. And I can put this little hooray flag out there. Let's see, do I have some? So I can end up using it after all and have, have to use the orange. I'll just kind of put that right there and it sort of balances it over here because of that. Now, here's something I can balance with right here is this um, hot cider. Let's do, I like it here. There we go. And I've got this little happy at home, which I was going to put across the bottom of the photo, but I think I'll put it maybe over here. I actually like it better here. And I have animals I can balance with on the other side if I decide I want to do that. And that may end up being my title. I've got another ladybug. Let's, uh, let's do this orange. That's kind of close to that floral. How about We'll put it over here on the um, other side of the tree. Let me get some of these guys. What was I gonna do? I'm not sure where I would like it to be maybe I guess this is where I was thinking about it 
And that's kind of cute. That adds some tropical to the rainbow. I have this little um, blue paper heart button. And I'm gonna just tuck that color in somewhere. Where do I need something? Maybe just right here. And let's look through the florals here and see if I've got something the right size to add in. There's this heart. These are all, um, these all appear to be Paige Evans. Uh, uh, I like this. Whoops. That guy probably needed a foam pad. Doesn't want to stick right there. I'll put it over that. I like this. And I'm going to do this. And I'll tell you, you, you probably already know the reason I like it is the sunflower. And I'm just going to have it look like a vase of flowers that the tree is standing in front of. I guess I could use the other half this way. Let me actually like that idea. Let me lift this up just a little bit. Did I? I didn't put any glue on it. Okay, let me put a little bit. Okay, <laughs> that's great. It looks like a big pot that the tree trunk is inserted into. Now I have this little blue heart that I want to use somewhere. And I can do it maybe right there. And I've got this heart, which I could use right there and have it kind of bridging over into the next, or I could use it here or out here. I kind of like out there. And I'll let the, co the colors of the strips show. Maybe let that one go over. Okay, so now we've got that shape. We've extended past the strips pretty much everywhere. And I'm going to add this little ladybug over here right under the elephant. That works great. I'm gonna put these florals back. I had thought I might use one of these flowers, but I think I'm actually happy with it as it is. I had thought I might want a couple butterflies, but I think I can do without the butterflies. I have enough ladybugs. I don't need any tags. I don't need any arrows. So all I'm going to do now is one by one, I'm going to glue on these little leaves. And they're in odd colors. They were not cut from these papers. They were cut from a, another selection of papers that, um, but, you know, all the colors are here, so that's not gonna change. 
I don't think it'll clash with anything. I have to pick these up with my finger and that's probably grossing some of you out. I'll have these small leaves might, I might put them down in pairs like so. I guess they're all small, so I could probably do that everywhere. Let me get this. I guess it would be Okay, I'll do one over here. I didn't bend these to give them dimension like I did the last time. I'm just kind of hurriedly putting these on and trying to use all of them. I just, I look at that expression on Katie's face and I can actually very, very easily remember when she looked like that. And she's this gorgeous 20 year old girl now, 20 year old woman, young woman now with her own car and her own job and her own savings account and, you know, just a, a, a a career that she's um, dreamed of being in since she was like nine years old. And she's, um, just an amazing person whom I would like, even if it weren't my job to like her. She's she's funny and beautiful and and smart and um, has strong um, principled views on issues and so in in other words what I mean by that is she agrees with me politically so so that's always a good thing. I'm um, because I have them and there are some little spaces where I think they might look cute. I'm going to use these tiny um, chipboard florals. It kind of adds a little bit of um, a little bit of different, you know, kind of dimension. Um, wondering where I could use this camera and it would be cute around the photo, but I don't think I need it. So I'm going to call it done. I don't have a title. Well, yeah, I do. Happy at Home. That seems like a good title because it's all I have room to put on there and it's all that's needed because this baby girl was indeed happy at home. So Let's take a look at the original. <laughs> the original had a, a kind of a set color scheme, the red, white, and blue, and you know, black color scheme. This one kind of goes all over the place. I'm going to actually add, because I think black would look good against all that color, I'm gonna add some black splatters. And I'm just gonna take Dilutions, uh, black marble, just ink, the regular ink, not the, and I'm, I'm not, if the, um, the embellishments on the tree get splattered, that's okay. I'm kind of going outside the the perimeter there so i think we're done thank you for watching and um 
I'll see you tomorrow with day four. Bye.